What is up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here, and today is episode 104 of Nerd is New Sexy Entertainment. This is our podcast. Thank you for watching and listening. Of, of course, Wildfire One's here. With yeah, you dick. I am Wildfire One. We control the vertical. We control the horizontal. Anyway, so guys, um, we're... We're here. This is, like you said, it's episode 104. We're sorry for not having a podcast last weekend. Life got in the way. A lot of shit happened. Uh, you know, but we did put out a lot of content as well. So there you go. Uh, I mean, Doki Doki's going. It's going. I'm, I'm, I'm watching the videos of Doki Doki, even though we're not using the voice actresses right now, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for, for this last portion. I'm still hearing all of the voice actresses as I'm watching this <laughs> and and then like I'm comparing that to because I mean we we had that notion that we were going to try and use voice actresses the for whole thing uh before we even started recording mm -hmm. and so I was kind of picturing female voices while we we're going through the game that's why it was taking so long in between what was out there and now it's just like I set the phone down for a second to do something, and I was like, okay, there's a click. Okay, this is what that said. This is who said it. There's a click. There's this, you know. It's still getting me the way that it did when I played it. Well, yeah, and it's it's easier to edit that way, too. It was a lot of, a lot of uh, editing and trial and error in that, and it was fun. It's just easier now. Now I can just put what I want in and, and edit, edit to the, the nitty-gritty and get, you know, cut the fat out and basically just put out what needs to be put out and we're we're actually getting we're actually getting pretty far you know there's a method to the madness and a little background you know we got the, the we finally did the vodka uh the crystal head vodka review uh that was hard to find <laughs> that shit was hard to find and when we finally found it of course and of course i got the skull back there because i love as you can see i love skulls my whole house you can ask grizzly is covered in some sort of skull paraphernalia Skulls, swords, gaming, it's like, nerd. It's, like, it's, it's like walking it's, into a, a... His entire house is a man cave for us. <laughs> <laughs> for us. So we're here to talk about, this might be a shorter episode, but we're here to talk about two things. Aladdin. Aladdin. We're talking about that. The new Aladdin trailer that came out today on the 12th of March, 2019. And it is What's all this shit about? I'm excited. See, why are you gonna judge me? I'm not judging you for laying down. I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wiggle your legs around, you bitch. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we're we're gonna talk about the Aladdin trailer. Well, I watched it earlier today. I just introduced Grizzly to it, and um, we've I think we briefly talked about this on the 2019 movies. Will Smith can't act. He's a beautiful actor. He, he is a damn good actor. Yeah, but I, I'm just scared he's just gonna he's just gonna Will Smith you it know, up. It's not gonna be him. Like it's gonna be Will Smith. Like your point, the first trailer that came out, he was an actor being a genie. In this one, it was Will Smith being pretending to be a genie. genie. Yeah, you could. Yeah, did, I don't so want him. It, I don't want it, him to look like he's acting. I want to believe that he's a genie. When when and again, I hate to do this, but a lot of other people are doing this when. Robin Williams did it, and maybe it was because it was animated. It was a little easier to, but even if they if they if they did with Robin Williams, what they're doing with Will Smith, I would have still believed it was a genie. But I mean, you can't really base it all off of just a trailer. No, you can't. It looked good for being yeah. what it was. As far as CG goes, it looked good, and they didn't use the blue the blue looking genie the whole time. They, 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 at one point they stopped with that and I wonder if it's going to be off and on or if he's going to be blue th halfway through it and there's going to be scenes where he's not blue don't know don't it, know because the first I one I do like the fact that the actor that they got to play Aladdin looks like the animated Aladdin yes and he acts did you hear that scene where they were singing the, the whole new world that sounded, sounded like immaculate him. it oh, sounded yeah. great oh, yeah. I'm excited for this I am actually excited for the Aladdin movie. Even the scene where Will Smith is singing. I was excited for that. You're never going to have a friend like me. It was great. It was, uh, you know, uh, I've seen a few things about people complaining about the actor playing Jafar, but I have no complaints. 
he looked all right to me. We're not going to be able to recognize a lot of these actors. That's the trailer. They're from Dollywood. Yeah. I didn't know. That. I wasn't aware of that. All I'm so, saying is that, is that the actors look great. Like, and you're right. We're probably do. not going to uh, recognize a lot of them. And I don't care if we recognize a lot of them. I didn't want, I didn't want to see a Tom Cruise Aladdin anyway, you know? No, so it's, no. it's going to be very no. interesting to see these people act. I mean, the guy who played Aladdin looked amazing. The guy, the gal who played mm. uh, uh, Jasmine looked freaking great. They looked spot on. And, and the way they acted when they're talking and they're, they're, you know, there's that scene where Aladdin and, and the genie are going back and forth. And he's like, no, I'm in control. And the genie's like, Nyeh. and the guy's like, Nyeh. he's moving backwards. I thought that was good. I thought that was great. I thought that was pretty funny. From just the trailer, I don't think they CG'd in that tiger. I think that's a real tiger. Well, you you had said something I didn't even get from the first time watching. You said, you're like, why is Iago huge? I didn't think that was the big bird. And he, of, of course, Iago's the bird, and I also want him to be played by played by Gilbert Gottfried. I'm hoping he comes back. So again, I want to hear Iago and Jafar. Jafar. I want to hear him argue. No, it's Alan Turdick. Okay, okay. So, I, so I, Iago I, does have a voice. It's just not Gilbert Gottfried. I, I can get behind that. Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Oh, he was in that? Yeah, he's the skinny guy. Oh, okay. The, the character for Jafar, I he didn't look uh, Jafar enough for me. Uh, you know, I, I read a lot about that, too. There's a lot of people that said the same thing. I'm not sure about Jafar. He might blow our minds, though. This is just a trailer. I didn't recognize him because he had put on some weight to play Jafar. Mm -hmm. But uh, the guy is uh, Marwin Kinzari. He's actually been in several good movies in Hollywood. He's a okay. damn good actor. So we'll see. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, do you think it's going to be a good movie? Do you think Aladdin's going to be a, a blockbuster hit like the, the animated version was? Or do you think this is going to be a flop? Do you think it's going to suck? Let us know. We th I think I'm excited to see it. I really hope that Will Smith can be for this younger generation what robin williams was for us i agree when we were that age i agree we gave our two cents on aladdin that's what we think again tell us what you guys think let us know in the comments section down below down there yeah definitely definitely so the another one another the other topic we're going to talk about is something he's excited about i could give or take but honestly it's it's yeah, we're, we're thinking about doing a full-on review on this and i played it a little bit he made me play it a little bit and it's just too it it's just not not my game there's certain games i love and there's certain games that i hate and there's one game style if you guys know me that i can't stand i can't stand it. that's good games yeah that's no good games. no i just can't stand battle royale games and we were here to talk about apex legends apex freaking legends now i'll tell you this this is probably the less of evils for me as far as battle royale games because there's it has a team aspect to it. Yeah. Okay, so Battle Royale games, right? You said you would never play PUBG. i cool with that, right? Conned you into playing Fortnite. You, as soon as you got killed in the very first game, you uninstalled. No, no, no. We played like four games, fuckface. Don't well, we played like well, four I, games? I I I I, 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 that night, so. I played enough to get my feel of the game, and then I hated it and got rid of it. And I just there's no it, there's no reason a game I don't like is gonna stay on my hard drive on my PlayStation. I tried, and I it was fun, but I just can't stand those kind of games. And those people who do like them, more power to you. You know, it's just. That's just my personal opinion. I have a I have a personal opinion just like everyone else about video games, and I just can't do that. This guy loves those kind of games. No, I love Apex Legends. Okay, he loves By Apex far Legends. The best battle royale style game ever made. Most big time YouTubers that were all about Fortnite don't play Fortnite anymore because they play Apex Legends. This guy, he's like, oh, we should download Apex Legends. And I'm like, oh, it's a Battle Royale game. I'm not sure if I want to play that game. And he's he's like, oh, let's play it. Let's try it out. I'm like, all right, you know, we'll try it. Because you wanted, you, we, wanted to do a, we wanted to do a kind of a, either a podcast or maybe a, a, review. A, a review on it. We still, I still might have him do a review on it. I, we'll see. 
I'm, because... I'm, I'm figuring stuff out. Here. I'm the naysayer for this game this time around, but honestly, like like I said, if you guys like it, that's great. I'm not here to tell you what not what to like and what not to like. I'm just here to tell you what I like and don't like. And if you agree with me, that's great. If you don't agree with me, you have the right not to agree with me, and that's great too. Now, I'm not the best Apex Legends player in the game, but I am far from the worst. Well, let me ask you this. In your opinion, because you've played Fortnite, you mm-hmm. played Fortnite a lot more than I did, mm-hmm. what's the difference between Fortnite and Apex Legends for those people who haven't played? Like, sell it to them. Okay, think of Minecraft when it first came out to virtual reality construction. Fortnite, Minecraft, Apex Legends, VR, virtual reality, constant Viagra hard on. I think you're overselling it, but that I get it. I see how I like you're saying you're saying you're saying Fortnite is like the baby bitch game compared to Apex Legends. Yes, okay. I am. Okay, well, I, you know, and, and again, if you guys like Fortnite, more power to you. It's okay. That's cool. So, like, what what sold you on Apex Legends? What sold me on Apex Legends is it's not a pay to win game. That's like, always a good you can, thing. You can pay money into it just to buy skins, but they don't give you extra perks. They don't, you know, give you boosts for anything. It just helps your guns and your character look badass. Look cooler. Okay. That's it. You Go don't on. have to spend money. You every time you level up, uh it's like every other level you get a loot box. It gives you two to three skins, either common to legendary, which are the same skins that you can buy. Okay. Well, see, that's a good thing because it's, it's, you can always tell if a game is out to get your money. Like, you can always tell, like, you want to be bitter? Go put your mommy's fucking credit card in and you will give you this good gun and you have a chance to get this good gun. Here's an- another difference between Apex Legends and. Fortnite. In Fortnite, you can drop to the same spot every single time and get the same exact loot. Okay. Hmm. Apex Legends, you drop to the same spot every single time, you're never going to find the same thing. I wasn't aware of that with with Fortnite. You may find the ammo, but you're not always going to find the same weapon. I wasn't aware of that. I didn't think that... Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I... Whenever I played Fortnite, I would drop in the same spot every single time, and get the same exact stuff. Okay, so you've you, you've met you've you've kind of met a community on there too. You've kind of like would you say the community is better on on Fortnite or, or Apex? Apex, hands down. What well, what's the difference? Um, out of curiosity, in Fortnite, like if you're not in a party, you know, just in the in-game party, you can hear everybody just talk as much. Crap to you as they want. Yeah, that's kind of that sucks because you can't shut them up either. Which, unless you... which you hated. You ha- you raged on this kid in Fortnite, and it was hilarious. Did I? Yes, because I did the same damn thing about three minutes later. <laughs> what did I? What I thought we were in party chat when we. No, one person that we were playing with wasn't uh, didn't want to join a party chat oh. so that he can talk crap to other people. Oh, um, no. Mm. Yeah. Reese. You, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but with Apex Legends, you can either do party chat or you can do the in-game chat. Uh, like in-game party chat, which the in-game party chat is just going to be you and the people you are teaming with. What did I rage? What was I raging about? Give me more information on this. It was uh, that kid that... Uh, he oh, was breathing into his group. microphone and it yeah. was pissing me off <sighs> guys please if you play a multiplayer game tell your mom to shut up in the background tell your fucking dogs to shut up don't if you have background sound turn that shit off god damn it i'm so tired of that shit i can't this is why i just play with my friends this is why i don't play these games because i don't want to hear your mom fucking tell you you need to take the trash out God damn it, people! Fuck that shit! 
Ah! As this guy's laughing his ass off. It's true! It's true! I don't need to hear your wife telling you you're a piece of shit because you're not fucking her because you're playing a game. I don't need to hear that! Your problems are your problems! Leave them to you! Don't fucking put that shit in the game where everyone can fucking hear it! What is your fucking problem? For the love of God, mute your microphone. And if you're breathing, it just sounds like you're jerking off. Then that's just fucking weird for everybody. It puts the lotion on the skin or it gets the hose again. How annoying is this, guys? If I did a podcast, it was just... <sighs> your microphone that, that yes that does do it it does make me go fucking ape shit reese and i were laughing so freaking hard that we we didn't care that we got killed we're just losing was our I, shit what, did, I, did i go off on this kid i forget oh you straight went off and so he <laughs> like could you had got some good loot and uh, i think you were even gonna record just to see how it was gonna go yeah and he he killed you because like you had stopped to loot somebody that Reese had killed. Yeah. You were looting them. Me and Reese went ahead. The kid came up, killed you, and then started taking your shit. And then me and Reese started laughing. And I just see like I don't know, like the kid just like took all your shit and then just left and you're still yelling at No, you fucking get back here. I'm not fucking done talking to you. <laughs> and he just kept going to me and Reese just losing our shit. Oh, like I'll, no, I'll rage. I'll rage good. about stupid shit. I will. I'll rage about some dumb shit like if you're breathing in your microphone. But no, if like dying and stuff, I'm not, I don't get that mad. I don't. It was great. Right after that game, he goes, all right, we got to stop for a second. Uh, delete? <laughs> <laughs> I think that deleted was the, the last recording. game. Deleting the recording, he's like, "Okay, well, I'm done. I'm uninstalling." Like, let's go, let's go back to GTA. Which is the GTA or fucking yeah, Red Dead. Fuck that shit. At least in Red Dead, I can kill people multiple times. Jesus Christ. Well, maybe not with the update. I don't know. I haven't been uh, on. Well, you know, the update. You know, the update is you know you got to pay for. You know, we're talking Red Dead now. You got to pay for emotes. You're fucking up, Rockstar. You're fucking up. That's just my opinion, though. I've said it before, and I will say it again. Rockstar, fix your Yo, shit. shit. So, Apex Legends, we played that game. And I will say this. My you experience... Well, yeah, I had fun in both games to an extent. But I had more fun in Apex. As far as, like, as far as the community goes, to answer the question that I just asked you. As far as the community goes between Apex and, and Fortnite, in my opinion. Because you and I, we, we got out of the voice. We got out of our, our party chat to play with someone we didn't even know. Yeah. And that, that guy was that hella fucking cool. That guy. Oh yeah, he was, you know, I got, I played that game in the first game. I, I, I got one kill. I was like, fuck yes. I got a kill. I was excited. Cause these games, you don't, I don't get kills. I just die or try and hide. And cause in these, cause that's what those games are about. You hide until you're the last fucking team standing. And then you're forced into a conflict with another group who just did the same fucking thing you did. Or, or they just, you know, actually fought and got really badass guns, and then they fuck you over, and game over, you get to do it all over again. Great. Good job. Yeah, no. With, with Apex, like, especially when you when you do the random, like, because you can, you know, queue up by yourself, or with one friend, or with two friends, because squad of three. Yeah. And what you and I did, it was just the two of us, and we team up with random. And what I've noticed is that I'd say like 95% of the players on Apex Legends. Yeah. If you're like a crap player, they will do their best to help you however they can. Yeah, they're like, friendly. They're helpful. Yeah. If you're if you're in like complete Fortnite, they'll just tell you you of, suck. <laughs> complete opposite of any other online game like that well you can't say any other because there are there are good communities in other places but like fortnite not community... that not that i personally have seen 
Well, Fortnite community sucked. Like, if you sucked, they'd have been like, well, yeah. get your shit together, fucking new, blah, 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 blah. You fucking suck. I'm going to teabag you. Yeah, like, your first game, you you didn't have a single round. We get in the drop in the drop ship, and the dude's like, hey, let's go right here. I was like, really? You want to do that with a guy? It's his first round. He goes, nope, we're not going there. We're going over here. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that game, that yeah, the first game in Apex was fun. We played, what, three or four rounds before we stopped? Before you stopped, yeah. But well, well, we stop. Wait, we stop. We we're going to play Red Dead, and then you had oh, to go yeah. Mimi's because you're you're a sleepy bitch. I had to. It was seven o'clock in the morning, <laughs> and <laughs> I had to be at work at three. So the game itself is it. It my opinion because there's a lot of teamwork in this game. You have to rely mm. on your team as opposed to like just anyone in fucking. Because when we played Fort or Fort yeah Fortnite, everyone just went their own fucking way except for me and you. Yeah. You know, everyone did what they wanted to do. It just been, it was just like, oh, look at this. I'm going to go fucking solo, even though we're playing together. No, they, in, in this, everyone, we worked together. Like, I got my, I got a good, I got a kill, like, the first game. I was proud. I was happy. I was like, yeah, I fucking killed this guy. I even teabagged him and everything. I was happy. And, <laughs> and, uh, and I, was, I was super happy. I did like, a little victory teabag, and then the guy came, and then I think you brought, and I died, and then you or someone else brought me back. I, I brought you back, and then we brought the other guy back because I think he was down too. I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys like I told Grizzly. What killed it for me was it what it was too. It the was too much. It was well the repetitiveness, and it was too much like Fortnite. It, it's it, and I mean you can you can put in this that and the other thing, but all in all, it's still a battle royale game, and I can't yeah. stand those types of games. I'm I am the old school like battlefield player. I like you know the old school COD Call of Duties where you match. where you're doing yeah. death matches and you respawn and you can go back and try and kill the motherfucker that took you out, and you know because then it's then it's it's a challenge to me. To me, it's like okay, can I can I best this guy? Can I can I do the better thing? Can I outthink him? In this, you're dead. Guess what? You're dead. Well, except, well, the exception of Apex, because Apex can be, and I do like that. I do as like long as as long as other people in your team don't get killed before you come back. Like they, if you die, they can come and get your banner, take you to a respawn point, call you back in. Yep. And I do like that. I like that you can do that. Uh, I just, that's the big thing about, about, you know, some of the other battle royale games I don't like. You, once you're dead, you're dead. You just go to another game and you don't care about what, what and, the turnout is. And with Apex, you can die as many times as you want in a single match. As long as you have a teammate, they can grab your banner and bring you back. And that's, that's good. So give us a little more information on Apex Legends. What's the story? Do you know? Is there a story? Uh, so what it is, is it's an island that, um, this civilization, which is our civilization, like in the future or whatever. What well, is um, it based off of? Like, yeah, I, I think it's kind of loosely Titanfall. based off of Titanfall. Um, but it's an island where they send people to kill each other for sport. Um, a, a lot of people do it uh, for the money. Other like some of the characters are doing it like the characters that I like to use, which is Lifeline. Um, she's the healer. Um, she's a humanitarian. She likes helping people, um, so she's a healer. But she doesn't have a problem killing people that are trying to hurt her or her friend. So that's why she's there. Mm. Um, uh, Bangalore, the one that you were using. Um, I forget who I was. I just picked a character and was like, good luck, everyone else. Yeah. No, um, yeah, he just likes to fight. Now, is this game, like, in a beta mode? Is it, is it, is it, are they, is it done? Is Apex Legends done? Is there more coming? What's going on here? You don't I know, know that there's, I know that they're supposed to be adding new characters in the future, uh, but I've heard no other information on it. Okay. It's I mean... only been out for... A month, month and a half, two months at most, maybe. Okay. Um, it's not a bad game, like I said. It's a lesser of evils, in my opinion, as far as battle royale games go. I'll tell you this: I got off work at seven o'clock yesterday morning. Came home, grabbed a bite to eat, change clothes, turn my PlayStation on, 
and played Apex Legend from roughly 7.30 to roughly 7.30 last. You're, you're an addict, fucker. That's okay, uh, though. And then uh, I finally fell asleep, what, probably about 8.30 or so. And you made... was wide awake at 3 this hmm. morning and then played until 9. You made some friends on there, though, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been playing with uh, several people. Uh, there's one guy in Wyoming, one guy in Alabama, another guy in Minnesota. That's um, the beauty of those games, there, man. There's one guy in uh, Northern California, uh, a kid in uh, Oregon, nice. another kid in uh, Canada. Yeah, um, there's there's that's a beauty of, of any online game is that you can make new friends and 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 do stuff like that. I remember when I played Battlefield what four or no three Battlefield three back. Yeah, in the it was day. it was three. Yeah. We made all sorts of friends. Me, Max, oh, and we... Ryan. I well, I I played. I played a lot with you too. Yeah, good you know, that. and with, with the games that are out right now. Um, especially with the games that I have, of the three major games out that you know you and I play on the regular, well, at least two that you and I play on the regular, you know, GTA Five, Red Dead Two, and now me with Apex Legends. I'm just, honestly, I haven't touched GTA Five in months. I haven't. No, I, haven't I haven't opened GTA Five. Red 5 Dead Redemption. I haven't touched Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, since Apex came out. The way that uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going with their online, the only good thing about that game right now is story mode. That is it. Unfortunately, but the story mode is amazing. So uh... it, it is. I, I have not quite finished it yet, but it's it is something that I will, you know, if I ever get burnt out on, on Red, Dead, Red Dead Online, Red Dead Online might make a comeback. They might put some stuff in. You know, again, this is our opinion. It's, I'm, I'm, and I'm sure enough, a bunch of people agree with us, too. Like, Red Dead Online just might die if Rockstar doesn't up their game. Like, I would love to see, yeah. I would love to see gambling. I would like, you know, not real gambling with real money. No, that's illegal. But I want... What I want is, uh, you know, I want to gamble with this fucker. I want to, I want to play with fake money and 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 play blackjack or or you know, call, or Texas Hold'em Hold or something yeah. like that. You know, I think that would be great. I'd I'd play online for hours if we had that, and I and if they gave us like more story, you know, more because the story is cool in multiplayer. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and if they could just give us more shit to do, Red Dead Online has come. A very short way and a very long amount of time. Yeah. And uh, and that's just my opinion. You know, I understand it's a beta, but at this point, the word beta, I think, is being used to fuck us. Because they are still taking people's money for gold. Mm -hmm. And that should yep. not be... that. It, that sh If it's a beta, you shouldn't be doing that. And I've heard yeah. other people say the same thing. And you know, the, the, I agree. the thing with Rockstar, too, with their betas, is their betas last anywhere from... Six months to forever, a year and a half, two years. Because the single player is immaculate. The game is oh, worth yeah. buying just for the single player. But if they want it, if they want the game to have a long lasting life as far as playtime, like GTA did, they need to give us more content, or people are just going to put it down and forget about it. And then unfortunately, yeah. it's what it looks like it's going to do. They're doing. You know, I mean, that's I, what we've done for the time being, anyway. Yeah, it's it's, it's I it's you can only wait for better content for so long before you're like, oh fuck it, I'm gonna find another game. And lately, and there's gonna be another podcast on this in the future with me and uh, Sam Three Six. Lately, I've been playing Far Cry New Dawn, and uh, that's that's an interesting game too. As far as Apex Legends go, Apex took a game a gameplay and then they took it to the next level they took it to yeah. where it needed to be so i'm gonna give them that and it the fact that they did that was is immaculate they get a golf clap from me i mean i will i play it probably not probably not as much as i do other games that i enjoy but again that's just me you know other people tend to enjoy it a lot of people play it and see with apex legends it's on pc xbox one and the ps4 
And they're talking about in the future making it crossplay, cross platform. Yes, we can only hope. And see, here's here's the crazy thing: it's an EA game. Like I can't. Like EA has been fucking up so bad lately. I know. It's it's I, I, it's I, mind I, I blowing. This is this is probably one of the best, uh, the best game EA. Wait, ever made. they're asking for money that that on a game that's like. It's not play to win? I'm going to prove it to you. Okay, please, because EA is the devil. Um, yeah, EA.com slash Apex Legends. Wow. They're so bad about money grubbing and trying to get... Maybe they're learning their lesson. Maybe maybe there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You know, give and, us money, 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 money. It's a free game. You don't have to pay for it. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for... Maybe they're like the drug dealer. It's like, here's Apex Legends. There's your crack. You know, your first one's free. And then and then they're like, Apex Legends, the full game is out now. Pay $130 and then $130 for the second part. You know, that's what I'm expecting. I, I, I'm waiting for this. I would pay it. I don't give a fuck. It, you know? it, it's a damn good game. Damn good game. Lately, lately, it seems like a lot of these, the, the larger companies like, you know, Blizzard and, and Bethesda, and even I guess I guess Bioware lately has been in uh, mm. in, in the shithole because of doing this stuff, and a lot of those is, is because EA had their grip on them, and and so we'll see. I mean, maybe EA has learned their lesson. Maybe there maybe there's something good that's going to come out of all this. Let's hope so. So we'll see. Uh, what would you give Apex Legends as far as a rating? Yeah add more of like a story mode because i mean there there's a few little like snippets like of kind of like a little bit of background on all the characters i don't know i i think if there was just a bit more on the characters it would be a solid nine and a half uh but i'm i'm giving it a nine hands down okay a nine out of ten okay okay Um, that's not bad I love the fact that it's not a pay to win. Um, the gameplay is good. I, you know, the the controls yeah. are pretty crisp. It's a nice game, and the, the community I think is maybe about ninety percent of what makes that game good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The 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 people that you play with are amazing. Okay, okay. Well, with that in mind, the fact that you don't like battle royale games. Okay. How would you rate it as a battle royale game? Compared to other Battle Royale Royale games that you have played. So any other Battle Royale game that I have played would get a 2. This is maybe a 5. Guess what? You just gave it a rating. A 5 out of 5. Excellent. That's no 5 out of 10, you (laughs) dumb shit. What do you guys think of Apex Legends? What do you guys think of Fortnite? Let us know below in the comments. Do you like these games? Do you are you like me? Do you not like battle royale games, or do you are you like Grizzly, who is in love with certain battle royale games? And I think with that, we're gonna go ahead and end this podcast. We said it was gonna be a shorter one. Be sure to uh, leave your comments below. We hope to hear from you. We love hearing from you. Uh, we have a phone number that we like to whore out from time to time. So Grizzly, what is that number? You want to get a hold of those guys? Real simple. Call 559-997-6803. In case you didn't hear me the first time, that is 559-997-6803. Leave a message after the beep. Give us your ideas. So, everyone, with that said and done, we are done with this episode, episode 104. We have gone a long way. We will continue to go a long way. We hope to see you next week on the Nerds New Sexy podcast. Until then, we want you to stay nerdy, stay sexy. Always.